All right, so I got another list. I'm not gonna check it every day, but let's take a look at the MJ stocks. What's going on in the MJ sector? Okay, so let's look at Canopy Growth. And Canopy Growth is obviously, it's still the biggest weed company in the world by market cap, to my understanding. I don't know if that's changed since, but I think it's still the largest weed company by market cap. Now let's look on the weekly chart first. It's got this bit of a double bottom that's trying to hold. Thus far, it's rejecting the 50 week moving average. We didn't get any signs of a bullish MACD cross on the weekly as of yet. This chart just doesn't look like there's too much going on. It had this big volume spike at the top, pretty much double or triple topped near that $70 mark on the Canadian side, near that $60 mark on the US side. This chart doesn't look too exciting right now, but it's trying to make this double bottom. So that's what we're gonna keep our eyes on over here. Indecision candlestick today, higher volume than the last few days, could suggest a temporary bottom or cool off right now. Bulls are gonna try and hold this area. So look for it to hold the low of today, which is around $23.80. You could bottom fish around that area if you're looking for a trade. And if it does hold, then you'd probably be looking up at that four day moving average. Not a huge gain at all, maybe 50 cents. Uh, but upwards of that 50 day moving average, which is $24.78 right now. Ideally, bulls want to gain that as a support area. Right now, it's acting as a resistance. You can see that yellow line has constantly been resistance now for months. Since February, that yellow line has been a resistance area and it continues to be a resistance area. That's a 50 day moving average. Once you start seeing, if you start seeing it trade above that area and hold above that area as a support instead of a resistance, that's when you could be eyeing a potential trend change because it's been in a clear downtrend. Thus far, there's no signs that the trend has changed, but the bulls are working on that double bottom. So the bulls are trying to change the trend now in canopy growth, and that could signal bullish news for the rest of them. Take a look at ACB. It's been consolidating in this tight range for weeks now. Looks a little bit like a bull flag. It's taken a little bit too long to play out though. Now we're gonna wanna see ACB. It broke the high of last week without any follow through. We're gonna wanna see some follow through. We wanna see it close this week above the high of last week and in this upper Bollinger Band area above the middle Bollinger Band to show some strength as of now, it's just a quiet chart, not too much action, not too much volume. And once again, volume spike at that high and has been dropping ever since. We had a volume spike here and that's why it's holding around this area because it was able to pass the volume from this area, trapping a lot of bears. And now it's pretty much trading right within that area, right between all the volume. So just not too much going on here. Daily trend is messy. High, higher low, higher high, straight to a lower low, lower high. Bulls are going to try and set that higher low over here. Not too much action over here. Tilray, very, very similar chart. Not too much difference over here. One notable thing, though, with Tilray is that it is holding the 50-day moving averages as a support, whereas ACB is as well, whereas Canopy is not. Tilray, I would say, you know, just personal biased opinion wise, I would say it'd be one of my more favorite weed stocks. And that's not because of Tilray, it's more because of Afria or Afria. Um, because Afria had very efficient operations. They were one of the more profitable, higher gross margin companies in the industry, and they have a huge amount of production. I think the problem with weed stocks, you know, and this has nothing to do with the charts. Let's follow the charts and not our opinions. But I think the problem with weed stocks in terms of an investment thesis is that it's so easy to grow weed and so many people grow weed and there's so much weed and there's an oversupply. And, you know, obviously there was a huge bubble in the weed stocks before and there's just a lot of sourness in the stocks. A lot of people lost a lot of money. A lot of people are bag holding. There's a lot of resistance at those upper levels and there's not too much catalyst. I mean, we're already legalizing it slowly around the world. It's already legal in most states, even though it's not federally federally legal. There's already so many producers and stuff in most of the states. So even if they made it federally legal, there's already enough supply in companies in order to satisfy that demand. 
But in that case, you'd probably want to be going more for the U.S. stocks. TrueLeave is a good one. TrueLeave looks more bullish than the other ones. You see, TrueLeave was on an uptrend for years. Meanwhile, let's go back. ACB, not so much. Canopy had this spike, yeah. But TrueLeave has been uptrending for a while. And it did sell off from its recent highs, a decent amount, but not as bad. And truly was on, uh, on the Canadian side. I think it's on the OTC on the US side as well. It did sell off as well, but not as bad as the other weed stocks. Although this chart doesn't look too exciting at the moment either. A little bit of a volume spike at this high over here. Four days in a row of lower highs on the daily. No real signals to buy as of now. Upper wick of profit taking last week. Pulling back towards the red line this week. Ideally, bulls want to see it hold this red line. Four-week moving average as a support. Consolidate around this area. Form a bull flag and then continue higher. I would wait on this trade as of now. Weed, same as CGC. VFF, look at that. Just look between the two. And you see how much the sector is correlated to each other. And let's look at HMMJ and then you see it right there. HMMJ is an ETF that tracks... Uh, a lot of the biggest, a lot of the top biggest weed companies is an ETF on the Canadian side. It looks okay. It's consolidating around this area, trying to form that higher low over here. Uh, we did break last week's high with no follow through. Ideally, bulls are going to want to hold and close above this red line. Four week moving average. They're going to want to hold and close above last week's high to show some strength, move up towards that middle Bollinger band on the weekly. There's no bullish MACD cross on the weekly yet. So there's no true signs that this pattern has changed yet. But the bulls are making some headway. And if you follow this, then you could see the overall picture for the whole sector. Uh, because this is a basket of weed companies together. This is like, it's an index fund. So we're getting a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders over here. So you're going to want to keep that in mind and keep an eye on that. Can the bulls pull off an inverse head and shoulders on HMMJ? And if they can... Then some of these weed stocks may go bullish. Now, I was looking at something interesting on Aurora Cannabis. Is that this is the monthly chart. There's a potential large monthly inverse head and shoulders forming. It's not super clear, but, you know, I see the potential for it. Big volume spike near the lows. Lower wicks of buying the dip re in recent months. Um... Bullish MACD cross on the monthly chart. So there is some good longer term side signs on ACB. I wouldn't say buy as of now, but there is some signs that the trend might be changing. So keep an eye on these stocks. That's all I'm going to leave it for the weed stocks. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, check out my course. And I got a lot more coming for you guys. I'm thinking to do a subscription service with swing trade alerts with entries and exits and stop loss and everything like that. I'm not going to rush into it. I'm a perfectionist. I won't release something unless I know it's good, unless I know people are going to love it. So give me a little bit of time before I release some things. But the course is great. I've gotten a lot of great feedback. And I don't know if anybody's shy and maybe nobody's just not telling me that they didn't like it or something. But I've only heard good things thus far, and I'm very happy about that. So check that out. I'll be doing a sale for back to school. So if you want to wait, save some money, wait for back to school sale. Check that out. Thanks for watching. Talk soon, guys.